Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything about batteries, which battery is better, the main reasons batteries fail, and finally, you'll learn a completely practical method to revive a dead battery. Join me. Here, I opened up two different motorcycle battery to see what's inside them. This is an old acid battery that has expired. As you can see, the lead plates are separate by separator plate. And its separator plates are completely destroyed. But in AGM batteries, these plates are made of fiberglass and are much more durable. I must remind you never to touch lead without gloves because it's toxic. Always use gloves. Thank you. This battery completely dead. Here we have a, another battery which is gel type. As you can see, it has been destroyed due to overcharging and regulatory issues. These batteries do not contain liquid electrolyte and are dry. The plates in this type of batteries are connected in series using lead connection. As I mentioned, all 12 volt batteries consist of six cells. One, two, three, four, five, six. In lead acid batteries, each cell contains an electrolyte solution that triggers a reaction between positive and negative plates. Here I show you. This is a negative plate and this is a separator and this is a positive plate. You can see the positive plates are made of lead dioxide and the negative plates are made of pure lead. The electrolyte which is a mixture of water and sulfuric acid generates electricity in the cells. Each cell produces 2 volts and making a total of 12 volts. If you want to build a simple and easy regulator for yourself, I recommend watching this video here. If you enjoy this type of content, you can visit and subscribe to my channel. There are various videos on this topic that might be useful for you. Thanks. In the following, we will closely examine different types of batteries and the main causes of their failure. At the end, I've prepared a special section for you. Stay tuned. The battery is considered one of the most essential components of motor vehicles, especially cars and motorcycles. Its primary function is to provide sufficient energy and power to start the vehicle, as well as to supply energy to other electrical components such as the lighting system, fuel delivery, ignition system, and more. Therefore, the health of the battery is of special importance. The alternator is responsible for charging the battery in all motor vehicles. If the alternator malfunctions for any reason, the battery is at serious risk. What are the common types of vehicle batteries? Batteries in vehicles come in various types, sizes, and capacities. Typically, most cars and motorcycles use 12-volt batteries. Older engines sometimes feature 6-volt batteries, while some heavy vehicles and machinery utilize 24-volt batteries. The most common types of vehicle batteries include lead-acid batteries, 
These are the most common type of vehicle batteries and are categorized into two main types. Sealed, dry batteries. Wet, flooded batteries. All 12-volt lead-acid batteries are composed of six cells, each containing positive and negative lead plates immersed in an electrolyte. Each cell produces about 2.2 volts. Wet, flooded batteries feature six caps for adding electrolyte. The electrolyte level is visible on the battery casing. Sealed batteries. Use a different material for the plates. Include an acid level indicator that shows the battery's condition. Advantages of lead acid batteries. Affordable price, easy maintenance. Disadvantages, risk of leakage, heavy weight, limited service life, regular maintenance required. Two, calcium batteries. A subtype of lead acid batteries, calcium batteries use calcium alloy instead of antimony in the plates. Benefits, reduced water evaporation, extended battery life, lower maintenance requirements. Cap three, gel batteries. Gel batteries are another variant of lead acid batteries using a gel-like electrolyte instead of liquid acid. Features, six cells with lead plates immersed in gel. Advantages, high resistance to shock and vibration, longer lifespan, minimal maintenance. Disadvantages, higher cost, sensitivity to overcharging, which can damage the plates. AGM batteries, absorbent glass mat. AGM batteries utilize advanced lead acid technology where the electrolyte is absorbed into fiberglass mats. Benefits, leak proof, durable under vibration and shocks, Faster charging, up to 5x faster than sealed batteries, performs well in cold temperatures, less prone to sulfation during storage. Disadvantages, higher cost, unsuitable for certain vehicles. Five, lithium ion batteries. Lithium ion batteries are dry batteries commonly used in hybrid vehicles and modern motorcycles. Advantages, extremely lightweight, long lifespan, shock resistant, very high cost, temperature sensitivity, lower maintenance requirements. Considering the issues we discussed, which battery do you think is better? Let us know in the comments. Battery markings and what they mean. Several abbreviations and symbols are found on batteries. Knowing these is crucial when purchasing a new battery. Voltage. Most passenger vehicles use 12 volt batteries, while heavy vehicles or older models may use 24 volt batteries. CMF, completely maintenance-free, indicates no maintenance is required. MF, maintenance-free, indicates minimal maintenance is needed. LM, low maintenance, requires limited maintenance. A, uh, ampere hour, measures battery capacity, e.g. 100 hours provides 100 amps for one hour. HR, hour rate, indicates discharge rate. For example, a 100 amp hour, 20 HR battery can discharge over 20 hours with a 5 watt load. RC, reserve capacity, shows how many minutes the battery can power the vehicle without the alternator. CCA cold cranking amps, represents the current the battery can deliver at minus 17 degrees Celsius for 30 seconds without dropping below 7.2 volts. Battery eye indicator, sealed and AGM batteries. This feature typically shows three colors, green, battery is healthy and fully charged, electrolyte density is around 1.208 kilograms per mequia. Black, Battery is discharged and needs recharging. White battery has reached the end of its life and requires replacement. Common causes of battery failure. One, overcharging. Overcharging occurs due to a faulty alternator or regulator causing excessive voltage and damaging the battery. Two, battery terminal issues. Corroded or dirty terminals prevent proper charging leading to battery degradation. 3. Wiring problems. Electrical leaks, parasitic drains, can discharge the battery when the vehicle is off. A simple test. Disconnect the battery overnight. If it retains charge, there may be an electrical issue. 4. Temperature extremes. Excessive heat or cold can damage batteries. 5. Low electrolyte levels in lead-acid batteries. Electrolyte also acts as a coolant. Insufficient levels can harm the battery. Six. Physical damage. Lead acid batteries are sensitive to impacts, which can dislodge internal plates. Seventh, 
severe short circuit. For instance, if the main positive cables, such as the battery terminal cable, starter, or alternator cables, experience a short circuit, there is a high likelihood of damage to the internal battery plates. If the short circuit lasts more than a few seconds, the battery will inevitably explode. Eighth, battery expiration date. When purchasing a battery, pay attention to the expiration date, which is indicated by specific codes. If batteries have been stored for too long, even if unused, their lifespan will be significantly reduced after the expiration date. All right now that you learn everything about batteries, let me show you an amazing hidden trick. Stay with me. Here I have a very weak battery and even after charging it is still not holding power. Look. I want to show you a method to revive the dead batteries. First open the battery's cap. After that we add some baking soda into the cells. After that we take a few lemons and extract their juice. But why do I use lemon juice? Because lemons are acidic and act as strong cleaner. But the main reason is that is lemon can generate electricity themselves. Let's show you. As you can see, five lemons have a 130 millivolts. Let's get some lemon juice. That's it. Now pour into each cell with a dropper or syringe and fill it like that. Then let it sit for an hour and after that washing the battery cell with the warm water. Two thousand years later. Okay, now an hour has passed and now we need to wash the battery cell with warm water and completely drain them. It's ready. Now, pour some electrolyte solution into each cell and leave it under charge for one hour. Alright, it's been more than two hours since I put it on charge. 
Now let's test it and see what happened. Wow. As you can see, the battery become much stronger. It's amazing. It's great. We did it. Check the voltage. To be honest, I can't believe it myself. It's amazing. Look at that again. <laughs> of course, this might not work on very old or damaged batteries but it's worth a try. Thanks for watching.